What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So, um, new intro. Let's talk about the intro. Um, we have a new intro. I've been using it for the past two. I think I've used it twice now. Um, some people like it. Some people don't. I did a poll on my Twitter. If you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, it links in the description. Um, but we do polls and stuff all the time. We had 124 votes. So that's a decent amount of people. You know, it's not like two or three people. It's it's, a, it's over 100 people. So 40% like the new intro, 32 like the old one, and 28 like both. So I'm going to really quickly just play both of them. I'll add them in the editing. So I'll play both of them, and then I'll come back, and let's see which one you guys like now. Uh, keep in mind, I'm recording at 1080p, and the old intro is 720p, 30 frames per second. The new one is 1080p, 60 frames per second. So I'll play the old one, then the new one. Let's get into the video. Okay, so myself, I just watched both of them back, and uh, I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description of this video if you want to vote uh, for which one you like as the favorite. Whatever one wins, that's the one I'll use, so vote in the straw poll down below. That will affect my videos. So I think the second one, the 1080p one, the new one that we have that I've been using lately, I think that one, it actually does a better job of being an intro. It cuts out nicely. It's got a nice cutout, like uh, transition sound in it. And it cuts in very nicely so I think it's, it's very good transition wise but I get how a lot of people like the old one because the music in it but I think from a visual standpoint the uh, and how it works as an intro I think the uh, the new one works better but you can vote yourself in the description I'll leave a straw poll there so today is the adventure quest news every Thursday we do news about adventure quests uh, we have no AQ where did all my links go okay they're right there <laughs> thought I lost them. Uh, we do the Adventure Quest news. So uh, sometimes there's AQ3D news. Uh, today we have no AQ3D news. If there's any AQ3D news, I will include it in this, in these videos or make separate ones. We'll, we'll see what happens depending on how much AQ3D news there is. And our first little bit of news. I'm actually recording this after all the other stuff, so if it's different than yeah. But I forgot about this in the main recording, but I got it here. So look at this. Dej coming at us with some new art. This could be the calendar class art for this year. It is November. We're getting late into the year. This and this is time themed items. So I'm not. It's not confirmed. Uh, a little teaser until it's time. Possible set for AQW. Uh, where has the time gone? They always theme their calendar classes after time. Uh, yeah, after time basically. So here's these sick new animations on this class. And you can tell that it's not too much legion in these. Like the clocks are blue and stuff, but the rest of the armor is kind of like an orangish brown and black. So this could possibly be a Steam notification, a calendar class. Why am I getting. I, I can turn that shit off. Okay, so this could be calendar class uh, art. We don't know. Uh, it, they just hinting at it pretty heavily, but it could just be a normal, uh, normal set. Maybe they're having a time release, like a time uh, themed release in the future. But I would guess that it's a it's a calendar class. So let's get into the next piece of news. All right, uh, Del Los Mortos, Mertos. I think that's how you say it. I I looked it up on Google. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Joyce, this is Friday. This is the Friday event. The event coming out tomorrow. Um, that gear looks really cool. I love the color on the gear. The purple and the blue looks really nice together. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's some cool theme gear. Uh, that's a reskin of an older boss. Looking nice. I actually like the reskin better than the original. I love the font and the text. That font looks dope. I gotta find that font somewhere online. That looks really cool. So basically, this is the event that's tomorrow. In case anyone was curious what the event was. So yeah, that's about all the information we have that's what's happening tomorrow moving on um nostalgia quest if you're an eight year player if you've been playing adventure quest for eight years uh came out oh, this game's eight years old um but you can slash join nostalgia quest and there's a bunch of items <coughs> sorry i just 
yeah, some crawl in my throat there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so you can go there, and there's so uh, two maps, ZZ quests, uh, tw sixteen monsters, twelve quests, three secrets to discover, and over 150 items to find, forge, and enhance. So, or enchant, it's enchant, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Message from Elena. You can read this if you want to. It's on the side notes. Feel free to. It just basically says thanks for all the people that are playing that have been playing the game for eight years. Couldn't do it without you, Bao. Uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, some of the items I wish I wish they would have. Uh, you know, there's some people that have been playing for seven years and seven seven years and a few days. Uh, maybe they want something. You know, I don't know. But they're gonna do this next year too for next birthday. They're gonna add items for the nine year players. So I guess it'll happen no matter how much I would I don't like them adding content for like less than ten percent of their player base at the moment I think. Something like that. Uh there's not a lot of people that are still playing on eight year accounts. But it's good that they're adding stuff for their loyal player base. Can't uh disagree with that. An armor from Extros. Uh gonna move my recording window down. It's been a year when I made these, uh, so I'll be packing these up. I don't know what packing these up means, um, if that means putting them in the flash, I don't know, but uh, these aren't in-game. Uh, these are, of course, Adventure Quest World's art assets. They look like Adventure Quest World's art style, uh, so maybe these will be in-game. I don't know what packing them up means. Maybe that means they won't be in-game. I don't know. I just thought I'd show you these. They look interesting. look very, very cool. The male one, of course, the same as the female. I like that they actually made them similar. Uh, normally, like, the male one would have a shirt on, and then the female one wouldn't, but this, uh, this artist, I like him, because he, they're the same. Alright, uh, this is probably, this is interesting, I really like this. So, unlock the full set when you upgrade in November, uh, starting Friday, November 4th, which is tomorrow. Uh, unlock the Lord of Bones when you buy any membership worth $10 more. Uh, so, basically, it's the Lord of Bones set, that's the set you get for $10. There's also, members of the Undead Legion will also unlock an exclusive Legion variant approved by Dage the Evil. We'll be able to buy these Legion tokens in the shop in the Underworld. So I don't know if that means that you need uh, to buy the package in order to have the Legion version, or if you can just get the Legion version as a member of the Legion. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe we'll know more about that tomorrow uh, when it comes out. But, well, of course, we'll know when it comes out, but you might have to buy the package. I don't know. We'll find out once it's actually out, and I'll probably do a video on this. So, the Lord of Bones set looks very, very interesting. Okay, so, I just I just showed you. Okay, whatever. Um, set I had planned to release, but lost. So, this could be a future set. Uh, he planned to release it, but he lost it, so maybe it'll be released soon. Who knows? Very interesting. I like the armor. I love the... Helmets and the back blades also look very cool. So this could be a future set. Z is a very talented artist. All right, so this, the next one, is from Lake. I already showed it. I'm, I'm horrible at making videos, but this looks very cool, very interesting. I like these a lot. Uh, it's probably my favorite armor set that's been out. Uh, that's gonna be put out for a long time. Like it's been a while since I've seen a really good armor that I liked a lot. Boom. Here we go. So, upcoming set, I just finished, gonna be an alternate version. So, um, I, it looks kind of like, it reminds me of, uh, what's that one, DJ? Where's the mouse head? Uh, Dead Mouse? Yeah, it looks like Dead Mouse, uh, except a cat version. Very interesting looking, and there's an even better version. Oh, all the white is color custom glow. Oh, I love me some color custom. I'm definitely getting this. No if ands, or buts. But, uh, we haven't seen a male version of it. I don't know what the male version will look like. It'll probably have pants, I would guess. And that's probably going to be the only difference between this one and the male version. Hey, maybe the male version won't have pants. And it'll be like this one. <laughs> but, it'll probably have pants. So, this is definitely my favorite set that I've seen in a long time in Adventure Quest Worlds. Probably since the navel was re re released in September. I can't even talk. Why am I recording videos? So, yeah, color custom set new to the game can't wait so we're gonna have some good new items tomorrow we're having a legion set on black friday that's when this is going to be released for anyone's curious black friday these are black friday items from lakin uh so on black friday these are going to come out which uh black friday is on the 25th of november so still 
a ways away. Like, uh, we got about a month, uh, not a month, but, but, you know, it's still quite a few days. But it'll be here in about 20 days, and that will be awesome. I'm definitely going to buy it. It looks sick, and I love me some color custom gear. That's my wallpaper. Where Where's my Adventure Quest World tab? Did I close it? I must have closed it. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out to the video today. I do this videos every Thursday to update you on all the news I found. And today was a good day for news. So check out Nostalgia Quest. If you ha Where is Nostalgia Quest? Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, go to the Friday event tomorrow. That will be out. Uh, new armors. The set will be out tomorrow. And new more, more new armors. And even more new armors. So many sets today. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment down below whether or not you're going to buy this color custom cat suit thing. It looks amazing. And I love color custom. Let's see ya in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media links in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post all the videos to Facebook and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.